Hello, my name is Stefania, and I work in the investment promotion section of UNCTAD. We work with and for investment promotion agencies to support them in their efforts to attract and facilitate investment that contributes to sustainable development and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. The commitments made by governments to realize the SDGs by the year 2030 can only be fulfilled through international cooperation and partnerships. This includes innovative investment partnerships in SDG sectors and projects. Investment promotion agencies, or IPAs, can play a key role in acting as connectors and facilitating technical and financial SDG investment partnerships. In this UNCTAD video, you will have the opportunity to learn about how the investment promotion agency of Costa Rica, called CINDE, has facilitated different types of investment partnerships that are contributing to SDG 3 on health and well-being. These partnerships involve actors such as special economic zones, universities and academia, and the private sector, including multinational companies operating in the health sector. CINDE was one of the three recipients of our United Nations Investment Promotion Awards in 2021 that recognize excellence in promoting investment in health. Please take a look at the following videos. Hello, my name is Diana Salazar and I'm Assistant Manager at CINDE, the Investment Promotion Agency of Costa Rica. Health and SDG 3 is a crucial sector for Costa Rica and aligned with CINDE's priority to attract foreign direct investment from companies that design and produce solutions that save lives around the world. At CINDE, we collaborate with a wide range of stakeholders and partners. As a small and agile country, Costa Rica has prioritized cross-sector collaboration. This integrated ecosystem has allowed us to strengthen the country's technical capacities. In turn, the country has attracted investors in new high-value-added sectors who value the technical skills and the know-how in Costa Rica. We're very proud of the partnerships that we facilitate in SDG 3 and the health sector that contribute to strengthening our country's attractiveness to investors. Next, you will hear from several of our partners, including special economic zones, academia, and the private sector. Hello, my name is Carlos Juan. I'm the chairman of the Frison Association of Costa Rica. We call it ASOFRAS. ASOFRAS is a private sector organization created by companies that operate under the free zone, companies that manage free zones, and companies that provide services to the free zone. We collaborate with CINDE in promoting a better legislation and in order to improve the free zone law. In particular, just recently, we worked with CINDE in order to enhance the free zone law in order to promote new investments that can go outside of the great metropolitan area, particularly using the SDG 10 parameters. So that means that we can promote better jobs, better conditions for the people and a better balance it, uh, between the uh, urban areas and the rural areas in Costa Rica. What Costa Rica has to do in terms to enhance our position is based on several elements. The first element is people. So we focus a lot on the experience of the existing companies in terms of its people. And in terms of people, it comes several items that are very important in the case of Costa Rica. The capacity to learn. The education system of Costa Rica permits that the Costa Ricans can develop new products very fast, very easy. Another important element of that workforce is related to the quality itself. The people in Costa Rica understand what means quality and in the medical devices and health sector, it is very important to understand what quality means. That first element is complemented with an infrastructure that has to be worldwide competitive. What we mean by that is that when you develop a free zone, that free zone has to provide an infrastructure that is competitive towards the world. And the third element, which is the security of the investment. Costa Rica offers a democracy that has been standing for many, many years, and that standard also allows to have a very strong framework that allows long-term investment. 
Hello, my name is Silvia Hidalgo. I am part of the coordination team of the Special Economic Zone of the province of Cartago in Costa Rica. Hello, my name is Carla Halavi, and I am also a member of the coordination team of the Special Economic Zone of Cartago, SEC. The Special Economic Zone of Cartago, SEC, was created in 2008, and it is a local economic development strategy. It is led by the Costa Rica Institute of Technology, TEC, which is one of the five public universities in the country. We strongly believe in sustainable development goal number 17, which is about sustainable partnerships. The zone seeks to strengthen the linkages between the government, entrepreneurial, and academic sectors. We work to support Sinde by jointly assisting investors that are interested in establishing themselves in the region. We provide information about the local talent pool, both professional and technical, as well as about all the investor services that we provide in the zone. We also support Cinde by sharing and helping to replicate our positive experience and lessons learned in other sites of the country, mainly located outside of the metropolitan area. The Special Economic Zone of Cartago offers a wide range of incentives to investors in the health sector. We accompany investors throughout the establishment process and their expansion. We facilitate and track all the administrative uh, procedures that they need to do with different government institutions, like the local government, institutions like uh, electricity and telecommunications company. We also regularly meet with government institutions to review the quality of their services and provide them with feedback from investors to continuously improve. We also provide assistance to investors in settling in Cartago, helping them to find a place to live and providing information about the local school systems, among other services required. Finally, one of our main pro value propositions for investors is to provide the local skilled talent pool. As we said before, SEC is led by the Tech University, so we work to ensure the vocational and university training offered in our region is aligned with skills and capacities required by the market. One interesting example is the master's degree program in the engineering of medical devices offered by Tech, the university where the zone is located. Next, we will hear more about this example. Hello, my name is uh, Jorge Cubero. I'm a faculty at the School of Material Science and Engineering and, and the medical device engineering graduate program in Costa Rica Institute of Technology. Tech is a national university with uh, several focuses on engineering degrees and business. So in Costa Rica Institute of Technology, we developed the first graduate program in Latin America in medical device engineering based on a partnership with uh, CINDE and the uh, University of Minnesota. So CINDE played a very important role in the development of this master's and some other education initiatives that have been ongoing since the startup of the master's program. Uh, in the early stages, CINDE uh, contacted us with the partners uh, in the United States and assisted in the development of a gap analysis. Uh, where were the special skills that the engineering uh, graduates were uh, were requiring to enter more successfully to the job market in the medical devices cluster in the company. So based on that gap analysis, uh, we were able to, to visit uh, University of Minnesota and some other universities in the United States and uh, kind of take uh, the, best, uh, the best practices, the topics of the, the curricula uh, of the new courses and be able to come up with a program that was custom uh, uh, made for the for the characteristics of the medical device uh, industry in our country. Many of our graduates have gone to work uh, in, in many of the uh, medical device companies and health sciences companies established in the country across several industrial parks. Uh, and one of them is, uh, uh, for example, Edwards Life Sciences, uh, from whom we will hear now. Hello, my name is Gerardo Cotto. I'm VP and General Manager for Edwards Life Science in Costa Rica. Our company is focused on treating cardiovascular disease. 
specifically we manufacture hard valves in our facility in Costa Rica. A company like this one considers, I would say, three different main factors. Number one is labor and professional labor availability. You want also to make sure that you have access to good professionals. So having good universities around is also a very good opportunity for a country to offer uh, an international company to, to, to start an operation in, in the country. In Costa Rica case, since back probably 1987, the country decided to focus foreign attraction in the life science arena. So when you see a consistent approach with the laws, with the infrastructure, with education, pointing to that strategy, that gives you a lot of confidence that that's a good destination for you to install an operation. All the infrastructure that you will need to have access to is quite important too. In Costa Rica Hayes, uh, we have a, a tremendous, tremendous partner that is called CINDE. CINDE is a nonprofit private organization that serves as a bridge, I would say, between a country and the foreign companies and facilitate all the process for these companies to come down here, establish operations. CINDE continued to work with us after we decided to come down to the country after we started the operation. So they continue to be in contact with us, looking for what we need to continue to be successful, to grow, to develop. So what they offer is that help to connect with decision makers, with the government, with the uh, academia, and different sectors are gonna be helping us to fix the problems we have, to build the future capabilities we need. So in partnership with, with, with CINDE, we were able to connect with the government, with the Costa Rica government, and specifically with the National Institute of Learning. It is called INA in Spanish. So what we did with them, and this is a very nice program, uh, they reach out to those communities where you have the most vulnerable population. Most of them, they don't have, they don't have even a job. So they bring those to let's say a classroom and they start teaching some of the skills that eventually they are gonna need if they go to a company with, uh, like Edwards. So for several weeks, uh, they are subject to training, education. And by the time that Edwards requires some employees, we reach out to this uh, population and then we bring them and we gain a lot because by the time that they are here with us, they already got some uh, training in our specific operations. Channeling investment towards SDG-related sectors, like health, involves strong cross-sector collaboration. As the example of Costa Rica shows, investment promotion agencies can have a key role as facilitator of investment partnerships. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.